Yo, what is going on everybody? It's the Hand True Gamer. Hope you're fantastic day. Welcome back to another Madden video. In this video, I'm going to show you guys the best coin method you guys can do with the Zero Chill promo. But if you guys do enjoy this video, if this video does help you out, please do like and comment because it does help me get discovered more on YouTube. And if you have any questions, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell so that way you guys get notified whenever I upload. And it would also help out the channel a lot. So I'm pretty much going to take you guys throughout the whole promo, like the sets, the store offer, the challenges, what you guys should be doing to make coins and what you guys shouldn't be doing to make coins. So let's, let's start off with the chill factor of mission. So obviously you guys want to make sure you guys get all of these. As you guys can see, you guys can get potentially five free 93 overalls and you guys need to reach tier 20. So how do you guys get tiers? Well, you guys get tiers by completing these missions. So like complete challenges, complete the Mr. Grouch challenge sequence to earn a chill factor rank up collectible. That'll boost you up to tier one. And if you guys get another chill factor rank up collectible that'll boost you guys to ch tier two and then you guys just need to get 20 you know chill factor tier up collectibles and then you guys will reach tier 20 so you guys can get 10 just by simply completing the daily objective list so that's halfway to tier 20 already and then you guys can get some more by doing the challenges and by completing some sets so it's going to be pretty easy to reach tier 20 and then you guys will be able to get yourself five potentially five free 93 overall so right now only five tiers are available so i'm not sure what's going to happen if you reach tier 10 because tier 6 to 10 is available on december 21st so i'm not sure what's going to happen if you reach tier tier 10 before December 21st maybe like once they become available maybe you'll just automatically get the rewards once tier 6 to 10 comes available because I'm pretty sure you guys can reach beyond tier 5 right now so I'm not sure what's going to happen once you reach tier 10 before December 21st comes out but you guys definitely want to make sure you guys complete all of these missions and make sure you guys get to tier 20 it's pretty easy like I said you guys can get 10 by simply doing the objectives and then you guys can get the rest by doing challenges now there's only a limited amount of challenges out right now this is only part one of the promo we should be seeing more parts of the promo later so we still have a lot of content to come and also mutt rewards should be coming later today so these challenges are relatively simple i recommend you obviously finish all of them like so this is the promo to grind i recommend you grind the heck out of this promo because you guys can make a lot of coins i already finished a couple these are really easy as you guys see pass for 25 plus yards to try to complete three plus passes should only take you guys like a few minutes per challenge and then if you guys have ea play you guys can get more additional challenges on top of that so now let's talk about the auction house. So usually whenever a new promo comes out, usually sniping is the best way to make coins from it. So if we filter by like 80 to 81 overalls, then we can try to snipe these 81 overalls and then immediately flip them and then make some profit. So if we just do quality 80 to 81, then you guys can see that these players are currently selling for about 3,000 coins. So we can try to see if we can snipe these players for like 2,000 coins and then make a profit. So what you guys want to do is you guys want to look at the positions they have. So it's tight end and middle linebacker. So if we filter down by tight end, then we can see the cheapest tight ends available. So let's see if we can find any for about 2,000 coins and it doesn't look like it all right so 81 overalls might not be the best thing to snipe right now here let's go up to 83 overalls and see if they're any better so 83 overalls aren't too good to snipe either but 85 and 87 overalls it looks like the players you guys want to snipe as you guys can see they're selling pretty fast and they're selling for a decent amount of coins so what i recommend you guys do is i recommend first thing you guys want to do is seeing how much these players sell for so go to program zero chill go, go to quality 84 to 85 and just sit here for a minute and just look at all these auction houses closing and just scroll down and see what are the maximum these players are selling for so as you can see these players are actually selling for about 20,000 coins so you guys can sell some of these for 22, 23. As you guys see, some of these players are selling for 24,000. Holy crap, some of these players are selling for 25,000, 26,000. There are, you guys can sell these for a lot of coins. So if we can buy these for like 18,000 coins and then resell them for 26,000 coins, then we could be making like four or five K per profit. So if we do middle linebacker, then we can just wanna, you know, we'll just snipe this 18,750 coin one and see if we can get this and items auction already expired. This is a hard part whenever a new promo comes out that there's a lot of people also sniping these players. So there's a, always a lot of competition whenever a new cart is out. I doubt I'm gonna be able to get this one. And wow, I actually was able to get that one for 17,000 coins. So that is a really good snipe right there. So we're gonna back out and then we're gonna re-put them up for well, where we put him up for about 24,000 coins. And if he sells, that's an easy 5,000 coins. Just like that. That's why sniping is usually always one of the best ways to make coins. So we'll just put this 85 up for, you know, 24,000 coins. And then we just made an easy 5,000 coins just like that. And we'll put always put them up for an hour. Whenever a new promo comes out, you always want your card to sell fast. So always make sure you put your card up for an hour. Never put them up for eight or a day. One hour is always the best time to put them up for. 
So 85 overalls look like they're pretty good to snipe. 87 overalls are probably pretty good to snipe too. Like I said, whenever you're sniping, the first thing you want to figure out is how much can I sell the players for? So that way I can figure out how much I want to buy them for. So the first thing we want to do with the 87 overalls is once again, just sit here for a minute and then to see how much these cards are selling for. So it looks like these guys are selling for about the same range the 85 overalls are selling for about 20 to 25,000 coins. So it looks like the most expensive we could probably sell them for is about 23,000 coins. So it actually looks like the 85 overalls might be a little bit more expensive than the 87 overalls, which that doesn't really make sense. And we'll just go by all offense and all defense and just try to find these for 20,000 coins. So we'll just take this one for 20,000 coins and then we'll put them up for 23,000 coins and you know it's a 1,000 coin profit not that much but still 1,000 coins is still a decent amount of profit so you guys could try to find these for like 19,000 coins if you want to make even more profit but if you guys just want to sell for a little profit you guys can buy them for 20,000 coins so here's one for 19,000 coins so we're able to get that one and item auctions already expired but sniping is usually always one of the best ways to make coins so the first thing you guys want to figure out is how much are they selling for and then you guys want to filter down and try to find these for a really cheap and then flip them immediately and make some easy coins so sniping probably the best coin method with the zero chill as of right now so if you guys do want to do the sniping method then i recommend you guys stick with the 85 plus overalls try to snipe the 85s the 87s and the 89s do not try to snipe the 81s or the 83 overalls those are a little bit harder to snipe so just stick with the 85s 87s and 89s like i said there'll be a lot of competition so make sure you guys are fast but sniping is probably the best way to make coins with the promo as of right now and like i said the market varies a lot especially at the beginning of a promo so always check to see how much you're selling for so that way you guys know how much to buy them for in order to make profit so now let's talk about the store offers. So these are obviously the ones you guys can buy with money. And then these are the ones you guys can buy with snow. So we got the 81 plus and the 85 plus zero chill player. So both of these packs right here are risky because with this one, you would have to pull a 87 overall in order to make profit. And then with this one, you would have to pull in 91 overall to make profit. So both of these packs are dicey and risky. So if you guys have opened any of these packs, let me know how are the pack outs. Are the pack outs good? Are these packs worth opening? Because if you're going to get an 85 overall 9 out of 10 times, then these packs aren't worth it, obviously. But if you guys have pulled, you know, like 291 overalls out of opening it 5 times, then these packs are probably worth it to do. Same thing with the 81 plus. Let me know. If you, have you opened any of these packs? Let me know how the pack odds are. But both of these are really risky when it comes to making coins. So if you guys want, you guys can risk it for the biscuit. But right now, I recommend you guys just stay away from it for now. But this 35,000 Zero Chill Hero Fantasy Pack, you know 35,000 snow for a 93 overall and then we got this random present so once again this random present is also risky because you guys are either going to pull a small present lose 9,000 snow you guys are going to pull a medium present lose 3,000 snow or you're going to pull a large present make 26 or make 16,000 snow or you guys can pull an extra large present and make tons of coins so once again random present is dicey and risky but 10,500 snow definitely not too bad if you guys want to take a chance at it like I said you have a chance to lose 9,000 snow so make sure you guys know the risks before you open up these packs so pretty much all these packs are pretty risky but if you guys want to pull the presents uh, you know if you guys just want to pull a large present then you guys can just buy one for 26,000 snow and then here we got the beast food collectible to upgrade your snow beast and then we got the hot cocoa collectible to thaw the frozen players so then we also have the snow beast fantasy pack I want to test out something I want to see if you guys can get a 93 overall by getting 10,000 snow because if you guys get a snow beast that's 400 snow and then you would only need four beast food collectibles to upgrade it to a 93 overall so there might be something wrong with that but i'm pretty sure you guys can get yourself a free 93 or not a free you guys can get yourself a nat 93 overall snow beast player for only like 10,000 snow so i'm gonna test that out real quick so in total, we're gonna need about 9,200 snow. So from an 89 overall, you're gonna get about 8,000 snow. So we weren't able to get that. So from an 89 overall, you're gonna be able to get about 8,000 snow. And then you just want to get an 85 overall, which quick sells for 2,000 snow. So all you need to do is buy an 89 overall and an 85 overall, and then you should be able to get yourself 10,000 snow. So I'll be right back once I have an 89 and an 85 overall. All right, so we spent about 55,000 coins for both of these players and we got 10,000 snow. So now I'm gonna test out my theory and see if we can get ourselves a, a 93 overall player for wow I think my game just crashed all right so I'll be back all right sorry about that but like I said now I'm gonna test out my theory and see if we can get ourselves a free or not a free I, why do I keep saying free a uh, 93 overall nat player for 55,000 coins because if you guys can get yourself a 93 overall for 55,000 coins that is insanely cheap so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna like, buy this for 400 snow 
the 400 snow like i said i only paid 55,000 coins for the 10,000 snow so this is 400 snow right here i'm gonna pick i'm i'm gonna upgrade lamar jackson so we'll do lamar jackson and then i'm pretty sure if we look at the upgrade section we only need four of the snow beast food collectibles yeah we only need four of them and then we should be able to get them up to a 93 overall so we should be able to get four of them for only 8800 snow so that in total is 9200 snow so if we buy four of these beast food collectibles for 2200 snow each i'll be right back so there we go we got our four gingerbread collectibles and now let's see we only spent 55,000 coins i'm pretty sure we're going to be able to get a 93 overall from 55,000 coins which, which is absolutely insane so if my theory holds up you guys will be able to get all four snow beasts for only 200,000 coins. You guys will be able to get four 93 overalls for 200,000 coins. So hopefully that should help out your team a lot. And yeah, we just got a 93 overall Lamar Jackson for 55,000 coins. That's insane. We just got 93 overall Lamar Jackson for 55,000 coins. And you guys can get Eddie Jackson if you want to. And I'm, I forgot what the other ones are. But Lamar Jackson right here. They are not auctionable. So you guys cannot make coins from it. But if you guys want any of the players from the Snow Beast. Then you guys can buy them for 55,000 coins. But don't forget. You also get one free from the Chill Factor. You also get one free 93 overall Snow Beast. By completing these missions. And by reaching tier 20. You guys will get four total Beast Foods for free. And you guys will also get a free Snow Beast. So you guys will get a free 93 overall Snow Beast. By reaching tier 20. And then if you guys don't feel like. Like waiting to reach tier 20 then you guys can just buy them for 55,000 coins that's insane buying a 93 overall for 55,000 coins that's pretty cool so make sure if you guys want any of the snow beasts they're only 55,000 coins for a 93 overall so that is pretty cool i'm surprised that ea made beast food collectibles that cheap so you know 55k for a 93 overall definitely not bad but the hot cocoa collectible you guys can use these to melt down some frozen players and or to thaw some frozen players and you guys will be able to get a 92 overall so i'm gonna show you guys that so you guys can thaw these players down so like let's say you thaw this 75 overall kenny galladay then he will turn into a 92 overall so all you need is one hot cocoa collectible on one of these 75 overalls and then you guys will get a 92 overall so if you guys buy the 75 overall james bradbury for 35k and then buy a hot cocoa collectible and then use the hot cocoa collectible on this james bradbury you guys will get yourself a 92 overall james bradbury so the hot cocoa collectible is 12,000 snow plus the 70 Five overall which costs about 20 to 30k i don't know if it's worth it you guys can also complete the set to finish it too but i'm not sure if it's worth it or not i mean you guys you guys if you want one of the frozen players like if you want james bradbury or kenny galladay then you guys can obviously get the hot cocoa and then buy the players but i feel like you know it's, it's cheaper to get the 93 overall snow beast so to get the 92 overall thawed player it'll probably cost you it'll probably cost you around i would say probably about 100k so you would be spending about 100k to buy the frozen players buy the hot cocoa collectible and then thaw them so it's only for a 92 overall so if you need one of the 92 overalls it's definitely worth it it's only 100k but it's definitely a step down from the 55k for the 93 overall but it's definitely worth it if you guys need one of the 92 overalls but here are the training packs 1500 for the 81 plus and then 4150 for the 85 plus and training is kind of up at the moment because of these packs so training is pretty expensive for these packs so it's probably about 20k to get this pack 20,000 coins in training to open up this pack right here and then it's about probably about 40 to 60k in training to open up this pack so you have a chance to potentially lose a lot of coins from both of these packs the 81 was only going for like 4,000 coins so you have a chance to lose 15k from this one and then you have a chance to lose about 20k from this one so it's your choice once again it's risky let me know how the pack odds are but both of these packs are once again risky but if you guys want to risk it for the best get you guys can i'm not much of a risker because i'm no money spent so i don't like risking coins on too much stuff but if you guys like to risk coins then both of these packs are definitely not bad to risk coins on same thing with random present random present for 4500 training is definitely not bad whatsoever it's probably about once again about 40 to 60k per random present so if you guys want to take a chance on this random present you guys can you guys can buy up to 10 of these and hopefully you guys can pull an extra large present or something i might be opening a few of these myself here i'll open one right now Let's see what the pack odds are with this random present. Let's see. Can we pull an extra large or at least a medium? Give me at least a medium one. And we pull a... All right. We'll take a medium present. You know, not the greatest, but we'll take a medium present one. So these random presents might not be too bad, but yeah, those are the three packs that came in the training section. All risky. So if you guys want to take a chance, you guys can buy some of those packs if you want, but they're, they are risky and you have a chance to lose a decent amount of coins. Now let's talk about the sets. 
So these are the sets you guys can get. Now, most of these sets you guys can only do once or twice. So like this small present, you guys can only do once. This random present, you guys can do twice. This medium or bigger present, you guys can do twice too. So small present, all you need is 280 to 82 overall. So I recommend you guys finish these sets. These sets are, you know, very cheap. Like the small presents, only 280 to 82 overall. So I recommend you guys finish it. You guys can only do it once. So why the heck not? Random present, you need, you know, an 87 to 88, 285 to 86s, and 380 to 82s. This one is a more risky set, but I still recommend you guys do it because you have a chance to get like an extra large present or something. And what I recommend you do is with these higher presents, like with the random present and with the medium or bigger present, because these sets require a lot higher overall players, I recommend you, well, Mutt Rewards will be coming out later today because right now these players are actually kind of expensive. These, these 87 to 88 overalls, these 85 to 86 overall players are kind of expensive right now. So you guys want to finish these sets while they're at their cheapest. So Mutt Rewards will be coming out later today so that the market will probably crash with that so that might not be a bad time to complete some of these sets and then also on Saturday I recommend you guys do this on Saturday too so either do either finish these sets when Mutt Rewards come out or do these sets on Saturday so that way you guys can try to finish these sets for as cheap as possible you guys, you guys have 10 days to finish these sets so make sure you guys at least finish these sets before 10 days expire and you guys can complete both of these sets twice so definitely probably worth it to you I would probably definitely do it but hot cocoa, you know, 27 items, uh, I personally would rather just pay the 12,000 snow. I think it's cheaper to just get the 12,000 snow rather than getting 27 of the players complete the set, which is kind of ridiculous. But Master Derrick Henry, so this one, with the Master sets, you used to be able to make coins from it, but I'm not sure you'll be able to make coins from it anymore. Because what you used to be able to do is buy, or not buy, but you used to be able to get one free 93 overall from doing the challenges, and then all you would need to do is get the other two. So let's say I got 93 overall Zach Ertz from doing the challenges, right? So that would be one of the three set pieces needed to complete the set. So all I would need is Odell Beckham Jr. and Kenyon Drake. So I would just buy both of them for about 300k, and then I would finish the Derrick Henry set and resell Derrick Henry for about, you know, three to 400k, and I would also get all, the three, all three of these back as Nats. So I would get 100k, plus I would get all three of these players back as Nats. But EA added the 685 to 91 overall zero chill players, which adds an additional 100k onto the set. So I'm not sure if this set's profitable anymore. I'll let you guys know if this set is profitable. But right now, here, right now, let's say, you know, you guys can get one free from the challenges. So you guys can get a free 93 overall zero chill player by reaching tier five. So that pays for one of the three zero chill players needed. So that takes care of one of the three. Now all you need is the two other zero chill players and then the six 85 to 91 overall zero chill players. So let's say we chose, let's say we chose Odell Beckham Jr. I'm guessing he's probably the most expensive one. So then we would need to buy Zach Ertz, which goes for about 170. And then we would also need to buy Kenyon Drake, which goes for about 172. So that goes for about 340. And then the 685 to 91s, which is about 20K each. So that's about, probably about 130K. And then 340 plus 130K, that's about, that's almost, well, that's almost 500k, right? That's almost 500k. Let's see how much Derrick Henry's going for. So Derrick Henry's going for about 400k, which is actually not too bad. It would cost about 450 to 500k to finish the set, so you would really only lose about 100,000 coins. Here, let's see how much Charles Woodson is going for. Here, we'll just do Woodson and see how much he's going for. And he is also going for around the same price. So if you guys get your free 93 overall zero chill player by reaching tier 5, so as you can see, if you reach tier 5, you guys get a free 93 overall. So that takes care of one of the three. And then all you would need to do is buy the two others and then the zero chill player, which would cost about 500,000 coins. So that's a lot of coins. But you guys would do this Derrick Henry set. So I would probably choose Odell Beckham Jr. from reaching tier 5. And then I would buy Zach Ertz, Kenyon Drake, and buy the 6, 85, and 91 ones, finishing the set for about 450 to 500k. Now, after you finish the set, you want to sell Derrick Henry and his power up. And then you guys just want to keep the 393 overalls that you guys get from the set. Because all three, you know, you guys will get Odell Beckham Jr., Kenyon Drake, and Zach Ertz back. And you're pretty much be, you're, you'll pretty much be paying 100k for these three players. You guys can do the same thing with Charles Woodson. You guys could reach tier five, get your get your free 93 overall, and choose like Geno Atkins, and then buy Justin Houston and buy Malcolm Jenkins, and then it would only cost about you know same thing about 470k to finish the set. Sell Charles Woodson for about 400k, so then you would only be technically spending about 70k, and you guys would also get three of these back as that. So you guys would be getting these three for about 70 to 100,000 coins. So just which which three would you rather get? Would you rather get 
you know, Zach Ertz, Oda Beckham Jr., and Kenyon Drake for 100k to 70k? Or would you rather get Geno Atkins, Justin Houston, or Malcolm Jenkins for 70 to 100k? So completely your choice and completely your choice if you want to do it at all. You're paying about 100k for 393 overalls, which I think is definitely worth it. So I'm going to keep an eye on it, see if it ever goes down to where you guys can make profit off of it. Because right now you're, you're still spending about 100k. So I'm going to keep an eye on it because the set cost will probably go down and down. And I'm going to just keep an eye on it and see if it ever goes to a point where you guys can actually make profit off of it or to a point where it's really, really cheap. But those are the best ways to make coins from the Zero Chill promo. Not too many ways to make coins. Like so right now, it's probably sniping. Sniping is probably the best ways to make coins. And make sure you guys grind your challenges out. Try to get as many Chill Factor tiers as you can. Just try to complete some of these missions. Upgrade your Chill Factor. Get to tier 20. Get all your free players. And then you guys should be good to go. But if you guys did enjoy this video, if this video did help you out, please do like and comment because it does help me discover more on YouTube. If you have any questions, be sure to comment down in the comment section below. And if you guys are new, please do subscribe and press the bell. So that way you guys get notified whenever I upload and it would also help out the channel a lot. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm the Hey Gamer. Hope you have a fantastic day. God bless. Wash your hands. Stay safe. Peace.